All right, what's up YouTube friends? I am hella tired, but I gotta go to the store. Uh, I've been working like all day long. I'm, it's hard to walk at this point. Uh, yeah, I could have drove, didn't want to, cause <clears throat> somehow the president of Russia raised the gas prices. Crazy how that never happened before. Um, all right, so let's play a game. It's called, what's the biggest bullshit story of the week? Okay. Uh, one of them, well, we'll get there. So we have option A, the, the Johnny Depp, uh, beating, beating up his, his wife or girlfriend or whatever. Uh, everybody. Okay. Firstly, let me say I've not, not one time have I clicked on, uh, Johnny Depp trial video because I don't care. I ain't got shit to do with me um, or any of you guys. You know, if, if if YouTube pop popped up with something and it affected average people, uh, I'd you know I'd watch and, and share. Um, and that's kind of what I'm getting at here. Johnny Depp, who uh, every person that's ever known him says he's an incredible person he's really nice he'd do anything for you um and and whatever okay so we got this trial that uh youtube will not fucking stop recommending to me um and this is a an individual with a personal life who who deserves his privacy but his entire trial is being broadcast to the world uh, I understand why it's about reputation and defamation and, and all that stuff. But there was a much more important trial that we didn't get to see a fucking second of. Because it probably hasn't happened yet. And even if it has, we didn't see any of it. And that is old um, Ghislaine Maxwell. That's a trial that actually affects the public that people should be able to see yet we don't get to see a fucking second of it but we do get to see fucking Johnny Depp who who doesn't matter in the slightest to any of us we get to see every second of that that's a bullshit story all right and then secondly okay um i just said in the video i cited um head of the CIA in a congressional meeting and and Congress asked him uh, do you have any do you have now or have you ever had any assets in the media and the director of the CIA said that's not information I want to put into the public I mean come on there's there's one inference there um, the answer is yes and my point was, the story of Elon Musk creating PayPal and selling it, uh, and then moving on to Tesla and and, and doing that thing, and whatever. Uh, the backstory of Elon Musk makes no fucking sense. The the numbers are not there. Mathematically, it isn't there. It's it's just not. He sold PayPal for eighty billion or some shit. Um, you can check the price of one shuttle for NASA, okay? And then consider he didn't even use that shuttle. He created a whole new one, um, created a whole new one with brand new technologies and, and all that shit. Um, and, and he bought Tesla. He didn't, he didn't found it, right? And in his own words... When he bought Tesla, it, it was a shell. It wasn't even a business. It was just a business plan in a fucking building. That's what he bought. So it's not like the technology was there and he stepped into it. This technology fucking came from nowhere. But here we are. All right, so Elon Musk, um, CIA asset, um, that's literally the only thing that would explain it at this point. Um, he bought fucking Twitter. You know why that, that's ironic? Because it's another CIA asset in the media. 
we lost CNN and those assets, but we gained Elon Musk. It's incredible. It's interesting to think about how loyal, <clears throat> maybe loyal isn't the term, but how open people would be with Elon Musk. Because he's, he's got like, uh, they're called fanboys. People that do all Tesla everything. Um, and so it's, it's going to be interesting to see how uh, Twitter changes. Well, I didn't use Twitter anyway. I've just been made aware of a few tweets here and there as, as they're relevant. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see how people open up and, and the things that get discussed on Twitter. It's going to be really interesting. Um, okay, so those are our options. I'm sure there's many more, but the two we're going to go with is what's the bigger bullshit story of the week? Johnny Depp getting his personal life blasted out to the world when nobody gives a fuck, but Jisling Maxwell, we don't get to see a second of that. Or the same system that has systematically destroyed basically this entire fucking country, the minds of the children, the minds of the college kids, the adults are just as brainwashed. Um, that same system allowed Elon Musk to buy Twitter after pretending to to be resisting the hostile takeover. Um, <clears throat> they're both bullshit stories. I'm just wondering which one you guys think is more bullshit. Um, all right, and with that, I'm out of here. I'll be back really soon because of Hebrews 12:14. Uh, Seek peace with all men and strive to be holy because no one sees heaven without doing that. I love you guys. I'll see you real soon.